Hey what's going on everyone, Rido here. Today we finally got some news on the new Rainbow Six Siege expansion, Operation Skull Rain, that is going to be released on the 2nd of August, which is just one week from now. Earlier today Ubisoft published a blog in which they gave some details of this next free DLC. I'll discuss all the details of this and also put the link in the description. First of all, it will contain two new Brazilian operators from the Bope Special Police Unit. The offensive team gets Capitao, a male operator with a tactical crossbow that has two possible functions. The first is that it can fire asphyxiating bolts that burn oxygen within a certain radius. This sounds really exciting and useful to me. I think it works out similar to smoke's gas grenades but with a smaller radius. However, a crossbow can fire at quite long range, so I think this can become an extremely powerful tool. There are so many situations in which you know exactly where the enemy is camping, but you don't have a clear line of sight. With this crossbow, you can flush out the enemy, which gives you an amazing benefit. The second function is that it can fire micro smoke grenades, that can mask positions and team movements. What I'm wondering, is if you have to choose between these two functions because these smoke grenades seem a lot less effective to me. Even though it can be quite nice to mask positions and movements, I'm pretty sure that the enemy will simply spray through the smoke anyway, especially since it's only covering a small area. So let me know what you guys think about this crossbow. I'm very curious to see if you already have some specific tactics in mind. Capitao has the choice between the M249 light machine gun and the Para 308 FAL assault rifle. He has a PRB 92 as a secondary and can carry a frag or stun grenade. All in all, this seems like a very deadly operator and I can't wait to use him. The defensive team gets Kavira, a female operator with a silent step ability. This means she can sneak up on enemies to immobilize and then interrogate them to reveal their teammates location. Although this sounds very awesome, I really have to play with her myself to decide how useful this ability actually is, because I have a lot of questions regarding her sneaking. Are her footsteps silent all the time, or do you have to activate the ability for a short period of time? And do you still hold a gun while you're in silent mode? The reason I asked this last question is because in her logo she's making a silence gesture with a knife. Now if this means that you literally hold a knife to sneak up on enemies and interrogate them, then I wonder how useful this is actually going to be. Don't get me wrong, sound is a crucial part of Rainbow Six Siege, but if she really has to get within melee range all the time, I think this ability is way too risky to be very effective in the long run. On the other hand, if she can also simply use these silent steps while holding a gun, that she can really become a deadly roamer on the defensive side. Kavira has the choice between the M12 submachine gun and the Spaz-15 shotgun, and she also has the PRB-92 as her secondary. She can choose between the Nitro Cell C4 and the barbed wire, so she also has some very nice equipment. Apart from these two operators, we'll also get a new map that is set in the Brazilian favela. An interesting new feature is that it supports exterior shell destruction, making it the most destructible map to date. I wonder how this plays out. I think we'll see several smaller buildings that are interconnected, and I believe we can actually completely destroy some of these smaller buildings. However, I really hope they don't take the destruction aspect too far, but we'll just have to wait and see. Apart from this, the patch will also contain some other new stuff. We'll see a tactical realism game mode, in which you can't mark enemies, there are no kill confirmations, and there is a more realistic magazine management. You'll have to rely on communication with your teammates even more to get the information you need. I don't think this will become my go to game mode, but I definitely think it's interesting how this could change the dynamics in the game. We're also getting a new attachment, the angled grip. This provides a faster transition between hip fire and aiming down sights. With this attachment, the vertical grip may finally get some competition because I can really see how the angled grip could be quite useful on certain weapons. The final addition to the game is a new surrender system. 
which makes it possible for your team to surrender during a ranked match with a majority vote. But matches can only be surrendered before the third round. I don't really see why anyone would want to do this, unless it means you don't lose as many rank points as you normally do. Anyway, this was all the content that Operation Skull Rain will offer. I can't wait to get my hands on the new operators, because I think they can really spice up the dynamics in the game. More details on Operation Skull Rain will be revealed during the Season 2 Xbox Pro League Finals livestream on July 30 at 3 a.m. Central European Time. For now, all we can do is speculate, so make sure to leave a comment with your thoughts. Now this is going to be the end of the commentary. I hope you learned something useful, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. I am Rido, and I wish you all a very good day.